Good morning. This is Pastor Terry with Tuscola United Methodist Church. Today is Tuesday, March 31st, last day in March. Um, again, I invite you to pull out your Bibles. We are going to turn today to Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10. Join me. You were dead through the tre trespasses and sins in which you once lived, following the course of this world, following the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work among those who are disobedient. All of us once lived among them in the passions of our flesh, following the desires of flesh and senses, and we were by nature children of wrath like everyone else. But God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come, he might show the immeasurably riches, excuse me, the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast. For we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand to be our way of life. I honestly don't think I could have picked a better reading this morning for what we're going through. So... Basically, this letter, we, we assume it's by Paul. Um, it could have been a disciple of Paul. I am of the belief that it was Paul who wrote this letter to the church in Ephesus. And basically what Paul is saying, here, here's the image. I want you to imagine that you are a building contractor and you are about to lay the foundation for a big house with lots and lots of room, uh, with lots and lots of people to come and be involved in different office spaces. And your job as the contractor is to clear the area of all the dirt and lay a smooth and perfect foundation. And so this is what Paul is doing. In this letter, Paul is inviting all people, Jews and Gentiles, to be a part of the house in which God dwells. And the message of this letter is that peace and harmony is possible when people cease to live in alienation. We live in a world that is torn apart. We could have seen our world um, in a pretty rough lighting even four or five weeks ago before we had really heard much about the coronavirus. Um, we see violence. We see terrorism. We see theological differences that cause wars and anger. We see the declining of the church, poverty, hate, hunger, um, and because of all this, the book of Ephesians is an incredibly important book because it reminds us as Christians that there is one important thing that we need to remember, and that is to focus on the mission that God has set before us and to refuse to allow differences to come between us. We are in a very divided world right now, and it's gotten even more divided uh, over the coronavirus and what is the best way to handle it and um, how, how long should we be quarantined? Is this, um, are certain people exaggerating or is this 100% uh, what's happening? It, there are so many opinions and so many thoughts and basically, this passage is telling us in the nicest way possible 
to get over ourselves. No matter what we are going through, we have a mission. And that mission is to bring glory to God and make disciples of all nations. And so when we as Christians take part in this anger, in this um, she's right, he's wrong type of mentality, we are not helping ourselves, we are not helping each other, and we are not being what God has called us to be. Um, the entire book of Ephesians is to lay a theological foundation for a church that is struggling. And one of the first things Paul says is, stop boasting, just work together. So that is our mission today, this last day of March. How are we going to continue to work together, even though we're separated by distance? How are we going to not get angry at our neighbors if they vote for someone different or if they take a different opinion on the way the coronavirus should be handled? That is not... That, that's minor petty fighting that we don't need to be involved in. They always say you will know a Christian by their love. Isn't that the great um, old song that we sang in VBS as kids? Well, let's show the world that you will know Christians because we won't get involved in that mess. Instead, we will focus on what is really important, glorifying our Lord. I miss you all, and I hope you're going to have a wonderful Tuesday. Remember, tomorrow is the first day of the Bible study. Uh, send me an email if you want to join or if you want to join the fellowship group on Thursday. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye-bye.